is up on dollies because it is an all-wheel drive vehicle. Everyone always says you need a rollback for an all-wheel drive vehicle. Well, this is just as good, if not better, because we're not dragging it up onto the rollback. We're lifting all four wheels straight up off the ground, and they never roll or scoot or anything. What kind of car you got? A white Toyota Highlander. Yes, sir. They called us for removal. You're in an employee parking lot, employee only parking lot. Uh, oh, I guess we thought it was a parking lot. Yes, sir. They, they called us for the removal on that one. Uh, it's at our impound lot 221 Newman Road in Gatlinburg. Okay. As long as you're 221 the... yeah. Newman Road. Yes. Uh, how far is that? Mm, it's probably two, I think it's about two and a half miles two and a half miles okay and there's somebody there to help me out uh no sir I, i'd have to let get somebody over there to the gate for you since it's the weekend i don't keep anybody there after hours but if you're just give me a heads up 30 minutes before you're going to be there and i'll make sure there's somebody there to meet you um okay it'll probably be about that but i'll give you a call back in a second Okay, yeah, have to be the registered owner. ID matches the registration for the vehicle release. The cost is has to be cash. We can't do Carter checks on the illegal parts. Uh, do you PayPal or Venmo? No, sir, it has to be cash on the illegal parts. Okay, thanks. Oh, thank you. Everything auto. Hey, uh, just talked to you about my Toyota Highlander. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm on my way. I'll be there in like 10 minutes. Okay, we'll get somebody over to you. All right, thanks. All right, thanks. How's it going? Hey, buddy. Registered owner, I guess, here? I hope so. If you've got keys, I'll bring it up here to you. I have a key, yeah. Yeah, I'll bring it up here to you. Thank you. And ID matches registration, hopefully. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Let me get you a receipt. There's that one. All right, have a good Thanks. Day. You too. You didn't lose my V, did you? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That was probably the important one. <laughs> I didn't lose his V. Pay to park. Mm -hmm. If you're parking for free, you'll soon be talking to me. Okay, guys. Uh, welcome back to the yard. We didn't get any footage of this one. It was uh, complete chaos up in the national park today the laurel falls trailhead people were just stacked in there like cordwood they're uh, they will tow guys i mean here's the, the it, it don't do it it is not worth it and on top of this guy's got expired license plates and um but he he double parked blocking the first car completely in so when those folks get out of the trailhead you know obviously they're stuck they're you know they're ready to go grab a bite to eat or cool down or get their medicine or whatever they're doing and uh they can't do they can't leave they're stuck because they're this guy decided that the parking spot he'll just pull in behind them and make his own parking spot and, uh, the national park says no so stick around stay tuned it's going to be a good video uh, yes, sir. Yeah, the park called us for removal on that one. Okay. Where, where, where can I get it? Um, it's at our lot on uh, 221 Newman Road in Gatlinburg. Okay. 221 Newman Road. 221 Newman Road in Gatlinburg. Yes, we don't... Uh, I, I don't have anybody there right now. Obviously, it's a holiday weekend, but... Uh, do you know when you're going to try to make it over there? Uh, I got to pick it up today. I got little kids in the park. Gotcha. I got to get, I gotta get it today, man. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm, at, I'm at the visitor center in Sugarland, so I don't, I'm not sure how far I am from there. Okay. Yeah, 221 Newman Road, Gatlinburg, and as long as you're the registered owner, ID matches the registration, we can do the release. Uh, it's a rental car. Okay, as long as you're as long as you're on the rental agreement. Okay. Um, the cost associated is 
has to be cashed to that registered owner. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get somebody over there about an hour, hour and a half. All right, thank you. No, thank you. All right. The van? Yeah. You got uh, keys and uh, ID? ID's in the van. Okay, yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll run and grab it. You got, if you got keys, I'll bring it up here to you. Okay. Give me just a second. All right. Yeah, did you know the people you were parked in front of? Yeah. And they, and just they they just assumed that you didn't I guess so. Okay. They called it in. Okay. Yeah. I, I and I think I'm not sure how you take care of their their end of it, but I'm I'm guessing they mail you something. I don't know. Okay. Uh, let me get you a change and a receipt. Right. What rental company is this car through? Enterprise. Did, did they not realize the tags expired too? I don't know really. Yeah, the license plate's expired too. I'll tell them. <laughs> they got you in a world of hurt today. I know. I thought I was in a safe spot right behind the people we knew. But, like, they're yeah, gonna... they're pretty strict on their parking up there. They're... There's no signage or anything. Yeah. yeah. No phone number, no nothing. Signage. There's like five cars there. And I was lucky. They would. I was lucky you was in front of me. Today, it, yeah. This is works for getting oh, yeah, a rough first day of vacation. First, day. yeah. I mean, everywhere else, we've been somewhere for the last five years, every year. Yeah. There's instructions. Hey, you had to do stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they're, um, they just implemented a lot of those new laws up there. Um, a lot of people were parking crazy up on banks and, and in the grassy areas. And uh, they, they kind of placed a lot of barriers and put up some signs. But um, they're serious up there. They, yeah, they, they. they the yeah, man. Four, they, three or four of the cars are doing it. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, normally they call. I, I don't know who else is, is headed, but they just they just put out dispatches to all the tow companies, and so there's probably somebody else going up after those other people. But yeah, they were all gone when we got there. Where are they? Yeah, I don't know what they do, but they're serious about it, man. I I'm sorry it happened to you guys, but hopefully have a better time. Yeah. He said this is the worst experience I've ever had. Every other national park we've ever been to has clear instructions on what we need to do, and this park offered no instructions. We didn't know that we were doing anything wrong. We knew the people that were in front of us and it's like, well, they just, they had no way of knowing that you were with the people that you were in front of. And you know, maybe a, a handwritten note might've been, but you still can't, they don't allow double parking. It's not whether you know them or not, they don't allow for that to happen. And he was upset because there was no, no rules that he could follow. Is it, is it, does it have to be a rule that's that's written that says do not double park or? I, I don't understand. You park in a parking spot. That's just all there is to it. You park in a parking spot if there's a no parking sign for a, because up there at Laurel Falls, there's no parking for the next mile or whatever on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. You just follow directions. You can't just yeah. park out in the middle of the parking lot and think you're okay. Anyway, that's the explanation on that one, guys. So stick around, stay tuned. I just wanna do a super quick walk around of this. We're loading up in the middle of the street here. It does have some damage. They get their dog. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay, guys. Welcome back to the channel, and happy Father's Day to all the all the dads out there. We're uh, we're working today as usual. We're going to see if we can come over and help out. We're on Luzerne. Got somebody hanging off the road, as usual. It's been a busy day. They're not getting back out of there. It sounded like they dragged them in. They did. They drug the whole back bumper. Mm. That'll be. A pleasant thing coming back out of there. Uh, and you know, look at what we're driving on. Probably have the right to absolutely crawl and go as slow as they need to go, but I've got somebody that's called me twice already and says his car is hanging off the cliff, so I try to make it a timely manner. He called right before we picked up that car that I did the walk around right in the middle of the street in front of me the keys to. Yeah, I come in a PD call, somebody's brakes went out like right downtown Gatlinburg, like the worst place for a set of brakes to go out, but they did. And, Your destination will be on the left. And we got them scooped up, and uh, of course nothing's open here for repairs on a, a Sunday, this late anyway, it's six o'clock on a Sunday. So they're they're gonna call around, see if they can get somebody else to help them maybe tomorrow. 
but we're here. We're close. Right around the corner. We should be able to see. Uh, 27 is what we're looking for. Maybe that might be it. Car in 23. distress. Your destination oh, is on the left. Is. Oh, okay. That's we have the been one. to this spot so many times in the past few weeks. Yeah, it's been crazy, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Let's see if I can turn around. <laughs> this poor tripod. There's a poor lot of things going on right now. Is this another Audi? This is the third Audi. Yeah, this is just like that one, only like way nicer. Probably two. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. That probably was loud. Yep. A little bit loud. Um, are the keys in it? I'm not there. Okay. Very nice car. <laughs> it happened to it in the bottom. Oh no, yeah. It, it's, it happens all the time. It does? Yes. I can imagine the roads are so good. Uh, I know, yeah, this, the ditch is everywhere. I went back a little bit. I don't know if it's stay. We'll pull it. Um, I might want to high pull, low pull up here front. Okay. I might not want to back at all. It just depends on what this front's going to do for me. It's not. It doesn't look like it's going to be super It might just, it might spin for me.
most of it. Yeah, you just gonna pull forward? Yeah, um, I don't know if it'll stay. It's in, it's in park. It might stay. I'll try to just go slow. Just let me know when that back is close enough. You want me to pop in it or no? No. You know, it might stay there since the e-brake is on. No, no, no. It's gonna stay. We're just settling in. You have to get in it and sit down and then just put it into. It'll probably just go forward quite a bit after. Hold on. I don't know what the it should be right there. It says drive. Oh, sure. see, yeah, see if it'll come forward. Turn the wheel that way. Thank you guys. I've got your wheel turned sharp this way. Okay. So yeah, when you go, you might. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. Have a good time, okay? Thank you. All right guys, we are just up from the shop. What the heck's this road called? Foxview Lane. It's a really cool view. I'll get you guys that view hopefully before we head back down, but I think we frequent this driveway if it's the same address I think it is. Everybody's always backing down into the drainage culvert. I'm pretty sure it's still the same, but yeah, what an amazing view up here. What is that in the road? It's not a turtle, is it? It's like trash. I probably need to turn around someplace and back down there, I'd say. That's what I ran into last probably. time, too. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, yeah, same one. Same spot. Okay. Um, yeah, we've done several right here in the same spot. I don't remember exactly. The last time you were able to get ahead of him, I think. I don't think you've been able to get ahead again, though. It's got a four. That one's a four escape. I'm thinking. Four to scope. <laughs> I'll go look at it. probably fix the back and then turn the wheel hard right and see if we can just come back with it. That's because I don't think I can get in front of him on this one. Wild.
Yeah, I usually, sometimes I'll turn it. Might, might be better, but. Uh, I'm trying to think if I need a low pull. A low pull when I'm turning it sideways. Okay, I'll get you back. Hello? Hey, this is Jeff, Everything Auto. We're down here with the car. Oh, I'll be right up. Okay, thank you. I don't think I could ever get down there. I was thinking I couldn't get up high enough and I would pull it right into the bank. Right. Even if I got to do one at a time, it should be good. What? I might not want any part of the front. It might be get the back over here and then it just depends on how bad that front's going to be of climbing. Hey, buddy. Sure, all these roads like this are yeah. business for you guys. This one specifically because it like it's a mild ditch and then it's like and then deep. it falls right off. Well, yeah. I was. Yeah. Uh, my it... name's Pete. Pete, nice to meet you, Pete. Kristen. Hi, Kristen. <laughs> Pete. Jeff. Jeff. Jeff nice to meet I you. Talk to you on the phone. You, you did. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess are the key. You have keys. Yep. We'll see if we can uh, get it up in the air. Well, Try to get it over here, yeah. <laughs> it ain't going that way, that way. Yeah, I couldn't. Sometimes I can get around them, but sometimes it's, I've been here in this same driveway multiple times. There's sometimes I can get around it, but, oh yeah, I, I think we've done this one three times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's. you want me to tighten that front one? Uh, no. Yank that lower AR? Um, I don't know if it, I'm just going to use it to try to pull forward after I get pressure off of this side, hopefully. Okay. okay. Um, it's in. It's in? It's I don't have here. any PTO. You can go up, yeah, the front side of the truck. Uh -huh. Yeah.
Just like that. That ought to, that ought to do. These things are handy. I'm always happy that people have the Reese hitches. We can. Oh, I was hoping yeah, you could use that. Yeah, yeah it's, there's so many of these newer cars. There's just it's all there's nothing to hook to, nothing at all. It's it's crazy, but yeah, that's that's usually the easiest thing to lift off of. Just a little bit of pressure on the front, and they usually come climbing right up out of there. That I'm, I'm glad it's it's uh, black top because the concrete's not as forgiving. The black top's soft. Yeah. Yeah. But that concrete's like a nice edge. Yeah, yeah, that's an old day thing right here. We're gonna get the key off the back of the door. The channel. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I know, it should be fine. It's usually the folks that try to keep getting themselves out. Back and forth. Those are the folks that usually tear their stuff up. Yeah, they'll they'll get onto it and they'll floor it and rip all the suspension. <laughs> Slow and easy is the name of the game. Yeah. It's awful. It's, yeah, it's an awful spot, I'm telling you. I don't know why they don't put some sort of little markers or... Or, yeah. It's just all that rainwater comes down through there and washes and... But, yeah, they could put some of those little 88 cent reflectors so you could see it would be a big help. Yeah. But you you just naturally want to go straight. Well, and it, I just I spent too much time looking in the left mirror, not enough. And, uh, <laughs> okay, YouTube, I'll try to get you a little bit of I mean, it's a pretty cool view over here. Driving down would probably be a better deal, but um, yeah, they stuff cabins all over these mountainsides. It's a little foggy. Of course, it's starting to get dark too this evening, but uh, it's just a cool place. Cool place to hang out. It's kind of smoky today. Yeah, it's a little foggy. It's just hot. They have an amazing view here at this cabin, don't they? Looks like it. Now, most of the stuff up here is new within the past five or six years. If you guys remember the school bus that tried to come up this road, right here at the intersection we're about to come to is where that video took place. So you guys are going to have to come back and search for our school bus video. Check that out. It was at this stop sign right down here. Yeah, this one. Tried to make this switch back in a left-hand turn and... Uh, I still see his marks. Didn't make it. This guy wants to come here. You coming up here? Okay. We're gonna go straight across. Yeah. Okay. I believe this is where we parked it. Yeah. Here in this driveway. Yeah, we did. We pulled it forward here and then they came in. Yeah, see it's scrape marks there. But there's what a foundation looks like. <laughs> Somebody's getting a new home with a uh, five story foundation. It's crazy. Anyway, stick around, stay tuned.